Hello everyone, my name is Benedict, taking part in the Autonomous Driving U19 category. Some things about myself, I'm from Singapore and currently a secondary 3 student in Peiwa Secondary School. As for my experience with robotics, I chose robotics for my co-curricular activity since primary school, though this is my first time participating in RoboCup Co space. Regarding the preliminary challenge, this is the map where the goal is to travel from point B to point H in the shortest time. The first problem faced will be finding the optimal route to the end while passing through all the checkpoints. This is the first route that I found and the one that I use in the end. While there are other possible routes, compared to the one in yellow, the others have too many sharp turns, which slows down the robot substantially. Therefore, the yellow route provides the fastest completion time. Apart from line tracking, there are four obstacles to overcome. After all these have been tackled, the robot will be able to reach the end. Let's talk about the checkpoint first. The code is very straightforward, where if the sensor detects orange, the robot pauses for two seconds with its LED flashing before moving forward and updating the checkpoint variable. The first obstacle is fairly simple, occurring right after the second checkpoint. If the checkpoint variable is 2, then the robot moves forward with a slight turn. The second obstacle is quite troublesome, but once the new line tracking algorithm is completed, then there should be no issues. If the color sensor detects yellow, the variable state becomes 2, triggering the alternate line tracking, where the robot turns at an increasing intensity towards whichever side white is detected, increasing depending on how much is detected. After the sensor detects cyan, the obstacle is cleared and the state changes back to 1, triggering the original line tracking. The third obstacle is simple, where if the color sensor detects red, the robot makes a sharp turn to the left. As for the last obstacle, it occurs right after the fifth checkpoint. So if the checkpoint variable is 5, the robot makes a sharp turn left. As you can see, this is a simplified flowchart of my whole program's algorithm. When it comes to debugging, I think I was quite lucky, since the only real issue I faced was the speed of the robot not being optimized. This led to the robot being unable to track the line smoothly and the movements being erratic, though the issue can be solved with sufficient time of adjusting speed values. In conclusion, I'm satisfied with what I've done because I believe I completed the task to the best of my ability. Though I only used one method to accomplish the mission, I continued to tweak it to perfection. If I had the chance to restart, I would focus fully on completing the map first, rather than adjusting the speed midway programming. I believe this experience has taught me many invaluable lessons including countless coding knowledge, but I believe one of them towers above the rest in importance. Resilience. I learned it through persistently tuning the code tirelessly, never giving up despite facing countless troubles and bugs. If I had to share a learning point with others, I would undoubtedly share about resilience. While resilience is necessary for a good programmer, this value is also indispensable in our daily lives because life is full of hardship and adversity, but we must persist. This leads me to the end of my presentation. Thank you for your time.